Hey everybody, it's Steve back again, and what we've got now is version 3.5 alpha. It's been out for a few days, but just in case you guys didn't know, and this is likely going to change a lot of tutorials out there, because now you're going to be searching for stuff, you know, especially if you're wanting to pick up some of the newer features, like the image input node and the fact that a couple of the other nodes have actually gone a little bit faster like the split edges node is now two times faster and so it's basically caching that for you and making it a little bit faster but i'll put a link in the description so you guys can check that out for yourselves but the big thing i want to do is and i like the um, proxy is viewport you know you can, you can convex hall or bound and box whatever you want and then make that as you know for instances and so if I was to take this and kind of go search, uh, two big things have happened. Number one, if I space bar search and I type in is V, um, they rewrote this so it's more user friendly. And so you don't have to type in as much of the word to get to where you want. So if you look at this, it's shift A input scene is viewport. So obviously shift A, but if you go in here and you go to input and now you'll see you've got a second menu which is something that's been there but now we have a third menu so if i come down to scene i will find is viewport right here in a third drop down menu so what this tells me and i'm going to drop that in right here that blender is getting ready obviously to put a much heavier focus and there's still lag in this screen i'm going to have to tell that blender daily guy that's so annoying so the um the nodes are just going to grow exponentially it's going to be it's going to be like more inputs faster additions things like that and we do have an image input node now that can go in and you can put a switch node to and i'll cover that in another video I'll go ahead and drop in my boolean math node here and I also want to pick up a couple more nodes and we'll just turn this into a proxy real quick. So if we come down here and go to shift A and let's go to geometry and we'll go to operations and yeah there it is there's convex hull. So it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but the good part of this is that, as usual, the spacebar menu will still get you there. You can always come in through the add menu here and kind of get a feel for what's now going on. So if you come down to mesh, you've got to read write, and it's going to be more organized, which is really, really nice. And then, of course, the UV pack here. And we have the group and the layout, which are not nodes, but more of an organizational standpoint. So now they've finally expanded that to um, everything else. So and these menus will expand over time. And now if you don't know where anything is, of course, you just hit the space bar and start to type it in. And you can go ahead and find it that way as well. So under Shift A Utilities Switch, I will find a switch node. All right, so I'm just going to take the switch. I'll go ahead and drop that in and I do notice that the zoom in here for the 3.5 the last couple 3.5s when you roll your middle mouse wheel up to increase you know the size of everything it lags out like crazy so hopefully they get that fixed soon so what I want to do is take my is viewport my boolean math my convex hall and I want to switch this on and off over here under the geometry nodes so one of those things that you'll need to do is go ahead and plug in the switch plug in the is viewport it doesn't matter this is true or false it's just a switch and the the and logic will help it make that decision and put a little ticker over here for you so i want one of my true false to be outputted so I'll plug that in so now I have the true false here so right now it's just going to turn it on or off and then I can drop the convex hull in here and I'll put the convex hull to true and I'll bring the original geometry to false so as zero it stands that is going to be false which will just show our original geometry and if I switch it to one 
then you've got the convex hull. Just to give you a little example of how to do that again, I've got a video on that that explains it, um, you know, a much more intricate layout. But this is just basics. You can kind of get used to this thing. So if you wanted to come in and instance, you've got your instance on points, your instance two points. And so, so that's about it, guys. Just, uh, you know, rummage through this thing. You know, you've got your distribute points and volume faces, and it just makes a lot of sense now. So if you've got a volume set up, you got volume cube, volume mesh, and your curve menu. Like I said, you know, you got your operations, your primitives, and your topology, and the menu. It may end up with a fourth one at some point. Hopefully that doesn't annoy you. But I actually like that a lot. So just a quick tutorial for you guys. I'm still working on my... Um, layout here for my battle mech just give you all a little sneak peek I have not decaled it yet and I have not finished painting I am using Philogix PBR Painter Pro for this because it's just so much easier um, so anyways I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see y'all in the next tutorial lesson